Well, your child may be learning from home for the first eight weeks of the new school year. Today, the Texas Education Agency gave schools more freedom to offer remote instruction. It's something that many districts have been demanding as COVID cases surge in Texas. Jason Miles lays out what happens now. A number of districts already decided to do online only learning for the first few weeks, knowing today's announcement was coming. Basically, for districts choosing to do so, they can go fully remote for the first four weeks of school and extend that to the first eight weeks with a TEA waiver. But in-person classes must be available to students without access to technology or other issues. Once in-person instruction resumes, new guidelines allow high school students to remain remote up to 60% of each grading period. This change in course by the TEA is something districts called for after a rise in COVID cases, especially in urban areas like Houston. In a video message, TEA Commissioner Mike Morath said he's heard from many parents and teachers in favor of both in-person and online instruction. Our framework ensures that there will be on-campus instruction available for all students who need it in the state of Texas. But at the same time, we know we need to provide local schools flexibility to adapt to local health conditions, especially given the rise in COVID cases that we're seeing across the state. While these are guidelines, it's important to remember that districts risk losing state funding if they don't comply with certain things. Fort Bend ISD, for instance, decided this week to do online learning indefinitely. The superintendent telling me the district could appeal to the TEA down the road if needed. Now I got a chance to speak with Commissioner Morath myself this afternoon. I'll have more from that conversation. Plus, why some say this doesn't go far enough. That's coming up at five and six. For now, we'll send it back to you.